Hey Gacha Squad, so come to us, announce the new and first major update today and let's talk about the new changes, I haven't looked through it yet, um, I've just seen Sierra from Summer's War, which is pretty awesome, I haven't got her yet in the Sky Arena, so I hope to get her in here, so first thing is going to be the World Tournament, which is going to start on May 27th, which you can basically see here, um, yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. So if you hit gold 5, you uh, can enter it and it's mostly about, yeah, as more the more wins you get, the higher is your reward. And if you lose 5 times, you're out. But I remember they announced too that um, if you get a lot of wins, you'll be able to participate in official and local events and win real par prizes, which is awesome. And the rules are going to be, you have to be, well, your monsters are going to be level 10, which is good. Well, that's, okay, rune effects is always alright, because that doesn't make a difference about uh, um, having legendary runes or whatever, so you don't, you are not forced to have that. But on the other hand, having skill stones is pretty unfair, because... A lot of people don't got like legendary uh, skill stones or anything else, uh, same as me so far. So not that great. And they introduced the ban and pick phase. Um, I just read a bit about it. So you basically ban two out of the formation, can add two new monsters and add, change your formation as well. That's pretty good because the more monsters they add, some new monsters are going to be broken and you don't want them in the enemy team. And the world ranking system. The world ranking system are calculated based on the numbers of wins. Okay, so yeah, that actually makes sense. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and you get pretty cool rewards, but you have, I see, well, legend card for 10 wins is all right. That's not going to be too hard. For two wins, you get a skill stone summon, which is great. Like, it's easy to get two wins and everyone gets that. But the ending, good, uh, ending book is going to be pretty hard. 20 wins is not that easy anymore. I remember play, uh, playing Barrier Battle and I usually lose, yeah, after like 6 or 7 wins. So probably not gonna get that one without a good tactic. Then they add a new mode, the, uh, the Brawl Battle. It's an event mode. Oh yeah, so basically they changed those out during the seasons, I guess. And in Brawl Battle, all monsters will be provided with no runes and skill stones, so it's basically about knowledge from the monsters and how good you play each other. I hope they fix the lag as well, because a lot of players struggle with it. And you have to have... what is that? Monsters and spells, whether you own or not, will be randomly provided among all monsters and spells. The level will be fixed at 10. That's probably f totally fine. And you have to be silver 5, so they basically force you a little bit to play ranked games. But silver 5 is not too hard, it's basically getting out of bronze. Um, and, and at the tournament mode, gold can be hard for some people, but if you really like the game, it's not that hard, to be honest. Content improvements. The matchmaking will be improved, and you play against people with the similar 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 Jesus <laughs> uh, victory points that's pretty good because I heard people do struggle and get enemies which are way stronger especially if you're higher the barrier battle only the set effect of the rune will be applied and the effect of skill stone will be not applied anymore that's a very important thing because I lost due to that some sometimes some with the similar similar point yeah well that's good that's awesome because sometimes you match like people with 4,000 points, and you're at 2,000, completely struggling. Um, that's a good improvement. Arena battle, same as in the berry battle, only set effect of the rune will be applied, and the effect of the skill stones will be not applied. That's very important as well. One free chance to enter the arena, oh, that's nice as well. So you don't need to use 100 crystals to get that for the first try. Also, the rewards will be improved. So after like 10 wins, you get, oh sorry, a legend card and add a normal card or a rare skill stone to summon. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, oh, I see, they improved all the rates for it. Okay, that's awesome. 
because that's what the people are oh yeah it's early as well so that's what the most people really struggle with um victory points achievement reward so with season two summoners with 3000 or more points um will get better rewards so i'm still somewhere diamond wise but i try to improve next season so as good as possible somewhere that's my goal getting somewhere here master four five and four and you get a legend card to start with and then an ancient book oh hero cards legend card again oh those are awesome like enchantment roll ancient book two legend cards and a premium skill stone if you don't pull the same thing again that you already got Accumulated star reward, I talked about it earlier, is now you can get it 200 times instead of 100. And you get more mana as well. That's a good improvement. TV cheer reward. Oh, it's finally going to be a rare card. Because I do struggle and need um, some other... Oh, when you fail, okay. Um, I still still need Huadam. And... Oh, he's going to be a normal type. Okay, I was about to say there's another new unit. It could be something that I need as well. So, let's get over to the units. We have Sierra, the Oracle. is a support unit that installs a bomb on the forefront enemy, fast forwards the time to decrease the duration of all removable effects and granted on all enemies inflicts damage. I'm not sure if that works on Beretta's uh, dots as well, because that would be so broken. Um... So her skill stones, two bombs, one mana cost decreased, or the passive changes the beneficial effect granted on the target and continuous damage when using promised time. The cooldown time exists. Jeez, the legendary one is pretty strong. Like you just have the bomb and the continuous damage. That's that's really annoying, especially when the enemy has like someone like Wusa. Well. It's not going to be a problem again anymore. So the other one is a bomber as well. Um, he throws the bomb. He throws bombs. So what does it mean? I don't know. So um, we got to find out. Um, he throws bombs at random enemies. S something like Thrain just with bombs. Increase the damage. Okay. One more target. And the passive when you get defeated jumps into the enemy line to inflict self explosion damage that ignores defense. Oh wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, basically, bombs are a new thing, so that's nothing special. Network improvements. An incident of the skill not being activated instantly when using a skill has been improved. Okay. And network condition. When playing battle or moving between menus has been improved generally. Yeah, that annoyed me quite some time when I was moving between menus, but I didn't have that battle problem. But a lot of people did, so I hope that's going to be much better now. Balancing Giant Warriors this is the function that reduces the card exposition time of the monster head that received the giant buff will be eliminated. I haven't had any problems with it yet, but Giant Warrior is like the most broken skill right now, so we'll see. Maybe they'll nerf it next season. Um, special Summon, where you can summon new monster with a higher chance. Oh, after the maintenance, you'll also... Ah, okay, gotcha. That's pretty cool, because I was struggling to get the new units, even though I had like 200 summons without the glory summons yet. New packages, well, I'm not going to get them, so nothing special for me. New emojis, which look pretty cool. Oh, the classic Rikuni from Come to Mars. Other improvements, the icons has been changed. From the glory medals, Nikki's Teddy explosion has been effect has been changed. Okay, so what does it do now, or is it just we'll see? Or oh, the effect, so the, the the animation is probably different now. The speed settings, selecting the battle record, sheer replay of the Hall of Fame will be now be saved. Okay. Um. Oh, if you watch the replay two times, well. Okay, that's. Nothing too special, but probably saves some time. The Alliance Vice Master can now expel as well. Well, I did hear that people have problems finding alliances, but that's not the problem yet. Like, they didn't announce any bug fixes yet. The max level monster and spells now appear in the request card list of the... Oh, nice. 
and be sorted in order of grade and level. The rankings of top 100 will be now displayed matchmaking screen when being matched for ranked. Okay, okay. Not, uh, not bad. Oh, it's almost done already. Well, we're talking about 10 minutes now. Um, so, bug fixes. Kamun, yeah, the, the passive uh, seems to be fixed now, but honestly, I don't like him. Like, he's such an annoying enemy. Perna, we seen even hot fixes yet because Perna is always having some some problems. Ma fixed an issue of the overlap with other monster when returning to the original position. Haven't seen that one. And another bug. Oh, Maf, what are you doing? Uh, Seek fixed an issue of the begin hunt stones passive not being activated. Oh, okay. I'm not sure which one that is. I guess it's a, maybe the twenty percent crit rate. I'm not sure. Autonomy, added information regarding the cool time. Oh yeah, that's good to know. Same with with Ganymede. Then we have battle. Fixed an issue of the battle that ended in a draw, not being displayed as a draw. Not sure about that. Fixed an issue. Well, that's just modified. I thought it's a battle count. Defeated when closing the battle from... Oh, okay. That's, that's some good fixes here. And the last one. Fixed an issue of the information... Regarding magic crystal being exposed in information stone when acquiring duplicate skill stones. I haven't seen those to be honest. Good translation, well that's that's nothing special anymore. But I'm super excited about the emojis and especially about those two units. And also the new modes are so much you can you could talk about. Um so that's basically it about the patch. I'm super excited to play it tomorrow. Um I hope you do as well. And I hope you enjoy the, the content that uh, Come to Us is presenting, and as I am. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the new content, as already said. <laughs> and yeah, see you next time. Bye!